listen to the same radio station. Do you know that? Yes. Good. What is it? TV. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yes, you, you're on the right track. Okay. It's a radio station which we call W I I F M. What's in it for me? The frequency on that radio station is quite something good. It's all about me, 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 What can you do for me, 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 Okay. The danger you've got with not being very clear what frequency level somebody's on is that you go and dilute your message, you go and dilute your market. So for argument's sake, a classic example taking what you've said is Porsche. Everyone knows what a Porsche is? Porsche decided about 15 odd years ago that it, there was a huge target market of people who desired to own a Porsche. And then, yes? I owned a Toyota Spider. Yes. Which was rated four and a half out of five to the Porsche. And very nice. So I'm Casey who jumped up a level without paying the upper level. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, exactly. So the marketing message over here was this is so close to here, you'll feel like you're there. Okay. That's the marketing message. That appeals. That's what stuck in terms of the marketing message. Now Porsche realized that there was these whole group of people who really aspired to have a Porsche. Okay. So they released what's nowadays called the poor man's Porsche. It wasn't called that back then, but they were like, hey, here's, here's an economical Porsche. And they sold tens of thousands of them. Is this level over here really Porsche's target market? No. No, so do you know what happened? When their real target market, this market up here, came to renew their car, because they buy new cars, they don't buy second hand. <laughs> Try guess what? They didn't, buy. they didn't buy a Porsche because he has a Porsche and I am way better than him. <laughs> okay? you know, I'm not associating myself with somebody like that. And the car was an association. It took Porsche, they estimate, 10 years to recover from that one thing. That's what I was getting at. You are a, a, a very successful interior design company, and suddenly you start serving the lower who want to be up there, so you lose your high people. You would do, so yes, absolutely, and that's, that's what, I'm what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. You need to be clear on who you're going to serve. Yeah. One of the biggest mistakes I've seen many businesses do is you go into business and because you're so desperate to get work, you'll take anything. Mm -hmm. And so you create for yourself a market, and you're like, okay, great, I'm now established, I want to move up. Unfortunately, many people base this market on price. And what happens is when you want to move up, it's actually a completely different group of people. That is why a marketing plan is so important. Who are you speaking to? One of my favorite examples in this space uh, was a photographer, a bloke called Bin Trin. Okay? He's a mathematical scientist. That's, that's what he is. He's a trained mathematical scientist. And he uh, has an eye for photography, very good with lighting and stuff like that. Not at all qualified in any way, shape, matter, or form, but he decided he wanted to get into photography. His approach to market, when he came to see me, he says, well, I, I explained this to him. I said, well, here's your marketplace. I said, where are you going to target? He said, well, them. I said, great. So how are you going to do this? I'm going to find the most expensive person in town, and I'm going to charge more than him. Mm -hmm. So he went and found the most expensive photographer in town, happened to be a woman. He just charged more. He is now an incredibly successful photographer. Runs his own photographic competition that's internationally acclaimed and gets judged by the judges of art houses like Sotheby's and places like that. Yes. Are you saying we should do that? I'm saying you should be clear about who you want to work with. What target market do you want to appeal to? What do you want to do? You've got to be passionate about business. If you're seriously thinking of getting into business, other than just writing your plans to get a tick in the box to say you've done it, You've got to be passionate about what you do. And you can't be passionate if every single day you're coming to serve the people down here, but you really want to be doing something over here, because what ends up happening, you just get resentful. Yes? So you, you, I, I get what you're saying. You want to, you've got the passion. Yes. Yeah. And you, you have your middle of the range market people. Fantastic. You get desperate because no one's coming to you because you're only, you're only new in the market. 
Yeah. So you drop down. So that's what most people resort to, is that you drop down. Yeah. And the reason most people have to drop down is because they haven't defined exactly who they want as a client. Because if you're absolutely clear on who you want as a client, you can design a marketing piece, you can design your conversation, you can design your sales strategy to speak to that person. When Kitchen Connections brought this out over here, their adverts were entirely focused on what Casey aspired to. Because they knew her so well, now, and they saved money because they only put that marketing material in the places where KC was. Most people have to drop purely because they haven't done this. I cannot stress enough, if you want to be successful in business, you need to know exactly who you're talking to. I think, Mike, what you're also saying is that if you elect to work with that bottom part of the market... That's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't think... I'm just, I'm just saying this because I just think some people are thinking that the only person, the best oh, person to be at the top. I, I, I mean, you've got companies who know that they are speaking to that bottom well, part and do it exceptionally, exceptionally well. So, but, yeah, so Anybody recognize that about, marketing person about, over there? It's not about being better or best. No. It's about knowing who you are speaking and, to. And knowing who you speak. Who, who advertises using a stick man? Just pack and save. Pack and save, absolutely. Would you like to have their pockets? Yes. Yes. <laughs> who does Pack and Save speak to? The bottom. The the bottom. bottom. There's nothing. Please understand. There is, so thank you for clarifying. There is nothing wrong with where you choose to be. Just choose to be somewhere. So you can, if you're serving the bottom, you can still aim to serve the top of the bottom. Yes. Yeah, so, so I don't mean this to not be. It's not about whether you're top, bottom. It's being able to say, I want that over there. Whether that happens to sit there, sit there, sit there is irrelevant. It's just that the people who sit here, in order to catch their attention, you're going to need to do something very different to the people who sit up here.